Good old Game Boy player. Oh yeah! <laughs> Nintendo presents... Over ten years ago... Once dragons and men coexisted. This game was 13 years ago? That's crazy. Yeah, indeed. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. It's the best kind of wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations, but they were plagued by slow text across the screen. All that was lost when mankind disrupted. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Hey, it turned red too. This balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war. Are With there lightning any... in the background. Okay, is there not savage war? Um, <laughs> war of 1812 wasn't that bad. Uh, this I war was called bad. the Scouring. Defeated and humbled. How in the world did man beat dragon? How? Dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man... It doesn't look like dragons vanished from the realm. That looks like a lot of dragons. <laughs> it just looks like a lot of dragons dying. They're all just like, oh, oh, they're like, yeah, we did this war, yeah. On to the islands beyond. And we forgot to read that. Whatever. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Yep. It's a long time. And a lot of weapons are being history. forged together in a yellow vortex. And we get the different oh, music. Man. Fire Emblem. Good memories. All right, hi guys. I'm Colorful Artie, and this is my brother, Link the Hero 64, and we're How's gonna going? do we're gonna do a Fire Emblem co-op let's play. Yeah. We'll get we'll get more into that when we actually start. It has never been. Well, I mean, maybe it has been. I, 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 I don't it think it's been, been done. Before. If it has, <laughs> it's never been let's play. All right. So first, we're gonna erase days. Okay. Um, I'm guessing Marty will not mind if we erase her false friends folder. All right. So, I guess we're going to do a new game, and we're going to skip Wind Story because it's kind of boring, and it's going to a little mess up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let's preface this with, okay, so we're both, I won't say we're like experts, but we've both played this game probably at least three times each. Oh, definitely. I've played this a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is probably my favorite Game Boy Advance game, and one, definitely one of my favorite games of all time. I, I agree. This is definitely top five Game Boy Advance games. And uh, we could do Hector's story, but that's really hard, and honestly, this co-op is going to be hard enough, so we're gonna just yep. going to do Elwood's story on normal mode. Okay. And this is English normal mode, not Japanese, so right. it's going to be a lot this, easier. Yeah, yeah, guys, you are seeing the actual Game Boy Advance game. Yes. Not, not a ROM, play yeah. on a Game Boy player on our GameCube from 2005. Yeah! <laughs> this GameCube is over 11 years old, people, and it's still going strong. We play it actually... Probably every day? Yeah, we play it Somebody a lot. Somebody in the family plays it pretty much Definitely, every day. definitely. So. Alright, let's start. We're on chapter 11 from the beginning. Create because, a new... T oh yeah, we have to create because a tactician. The first, because the first uh, 10 chapters are Lin's story, correct? Correct, so yeah. we're bypassing that. Alright, uh, who should we name our guy? Since um, it's both of us. How about Co-op? Co-op. I like it, not Do-op. Um, let me tell you, it's really nice to be able to use the stick for once, because most of the time when I use the GameCube controller, I have to use the pad. Yep. So, uh, is there just a space on? Oh, yeah. Or you could do a dash, but no, nah, that's cool. Actually, wait. co -ep. what? Well, because we want it to be, like, a guy's actual name, so, like, Co... Is that a guy's actual name? I don't know, <laughs> but I do know C-O is not Co-op. <laughs> sure, fine. Just All right. <laughs> it's not like the tactician's... Act okay, he's definitely born in... Uh, hang on, which one has the black hole? Born on the 4th of July. Freedom. Oh, Day. yeah. Oh, you can't actually pick the date, though. That's right. No, okay, sorry. We'll just say he was born on the 4th of July. Actually, no, wait, no. Co-op barely fit on Uncle, what, wait, Uncle wait, Sam wait, is wait, not going to fit on. What if we name him Murica? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Murica. <laughs> We're from America, can you okay, tell? Okay, question, question. Can you put an apostrophe first? Is that possible? Uh, no. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait. I don't think it is. Okay. Well, hang and on, hang on. One of these is going to be an No, no? it's not. Oh, man. It doesn't look like it. Okay, and you. Wait, you? I thought yes. it was America. No. America? ICA. ICA, yeah. Yep. Okay. And an exclamation point if that fits on. I don't think it's going to fit on. Oh! America, he's coming America. Don't run. Fourth of July, male. He's Freedom a white, rain. He's a white <laughs> male Christian landowner. Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you sitting to the ones you want? Yes. Yes, sir, partner. <laughs> but ride the Oregon Trail. Backstory time. 
Once Dragon fought man in a war called the Scouring. We already got that. Also known as the Civil War. <laughs> I don't think so. Mankind vanished, vanquished the dragons thanks to the I efforts of the I pretty much the same thing the dragons up and vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These eight... Oh, I oh, pushed the Z button by mistake. These eight mighty generals brought peace to Eli... Is it Eli? Eli? Alib. Alib. I don't know. I have no idea. America. <laughs> the continent was divided into nations. Oh, I've been there, brother. <laughs> and the people enjoyed an easy prosperity. Capitalism for the win. <laughs> the hero Hartmut settled in the east and founded Bern, famed for its military might. Oh, yeah. St. Elamine moved west, and her sacred name flourished among the artists, the artisans of Utria, Etruria. Etruria? Etruria. That, that's just not a real name. No, <laughs> we'll no. Call that that's West the West. <laughs> that's the West. Actually, no, it's not. The desert's the West. The horseman Hanan's legacy lived on with the nomads of his beloved plains of Sake. Sakai? Ooh, that's fine, whatever. Sake. Too much reading. <laughs> <laughs> the birthplace of the knight Baragion is the new home of the renowned knights of Ilya. Does this game have guns in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Advance Wars, son. Oh. The Berserker Durbin's Thank final course. glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. Cool. The Arc Sage Aphos is said to have retired to the oh. barren wasteland of Nevada. Spoilers, we may hear more about him. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so, partner. <laughs> By the way, that's totally Arizona right there. <laughs> The heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. That's a democratic society there, partner. Alib has enjoyed a... Okay, he, he was like a southern conservative and now he's like a cowboy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Too much talk about the desert. Alib has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. I think they can read, right? I mean, like, we, do we need... How to much longer can this peace stand do for we need to, Do we need to read the entire thing out loud? Yeah, I think I'm having fun, but yeah, whatever. Okay. I was gonna say because maybe, like, because I know there's like a lot of dialogue at the beginning. Maybe you just kind of let it go at a normal pace, and we can talk about our let's play. Like, we can talk. All right, about that sounds good. We got over the this. good part, anyways. So I mean, we'll get back to America. <laughs> yeah, basically. America. But all right. So basically, how this is gonna work is if you're at all familiar with Fire Emblem, it's a turn-based strategy game, uh, and you've got a bunch of units, and you basically use them to kill all the enemies and conquer the thrones and stuff. But since we're at the point of two players, we're actually gonna have to divide up the units evenly, and it's like, I'll have my units that I control, and then Link is gonna have units that he yep. controls. And we're, we have to work together in order to beat the mission, but we're also kind of competing with each other for the for experience and experience. treasure. And not units, because basically, <laughs> every time we get a new unit, we're gonna keep track of whose turn it is to get a new unit. Right. So the characters will be split pretty evenly. Now, the one of the big, if for those not familiar with Fire Emblem, one of the big, um, draws to the series is that when a character each of the character is its own class has its own personality and story and backstory and all that but when that character dies they are gone for good yes they are and we are doing a hardcore no are, resets no resets the only time that we will reset is if a lord dies because you have to yeah if one of the lords dies you have to replay the level also there are three lords in the game so one of us is going to get two However, Wins hardly qualifies as a lord. She's not that great. She's actually pretty good, but... I, I'm gonna... If I... If this gets a lot of views, I'm gonna get so many haters saying, What are you talking about? There's the best lord in the game! I mean, she's pretty... She's a cool character at the very least. I think it, technically Elwood might be the worst stat-wise, but... But they're all... I think they're all... They're all good. good. They're all they're solid all units, yeah. to be sure. Yeah. It's just Wind can die very easily. Elwood's mother does not look anything like him. I know, it's like, he's got red hair, blue eyes, it's got right, and, oh, okay, he's oh. got red so, hair. By the way, um, just a piece of Fire Emblem lore for people, Elwood is Roy's father. Yes. Roy, as people know from Super, Super Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. Melee, Roy's our boy. I mean, you know. Roy was our boy. He and, was our boy, and he and came then he, back he for did. Smash Brothers Wii U. He, I like him better in Melee, Wii. though, a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, he's he's, he's kind of hard to use in he was one. He was yeah. one of my main characters in Melee, so I remember oh, yeah, when this game came out in 2003, hot off of Melee's heels in 2001. People were very excited. Yeah, a lot of people I knew were like, there's not Martha and Roy, it's turn-based, what the heck, this is terrible. And I was like, this is like the best game ever. This is a really good game. And there's our main man, Marcus. Okay, so I guess we, we should also be paying attention to which characters are being shown first. That's true. So, Elwood was first, then Marcus. Okay, do you want Elwood or do you want Marcus? I mean, if or I had to... flip a coin? 
Do you want me I to honestly coin? don't care, because I like both of them. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get a coin. Alright, yeah, one, I've got a huge jar of money literally over literally one right here. Huge jar of cash, saving oh, that yeah. for a rainy, rainy don't day. Don't banks. No <laughs> way, man. <laughs> Alright, alright. Um, so I'm gonna flip it, and you're gonna pick heads or tails, okay? Okay, tails. Oh, okay, we're gonna redo that. Because <laughs> hang on, hang on. If I win, do I get to pick then? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tails. It is tails. Um... Keep in mind, if you get Elo... Now, you, you on, both I, kind of know the order of characters. I know. I'm so like, do I want Bowen, or do I want Rebecca? Well, he's thinking about... You this. know what? I'm going to pick Elwood. You're picking Elwood? Yeah. Okay, that gives me Marcus. Marcus is Way amazing too good. at the beginning of the game. And if you actually play the game right and level up some of the harder to level up characters, Marcus is not good by the end of the game. No, even but he's very good and very useful at the beginning. Yes, like I'm. At, we're probably gonna actually use him at the beginning because you, we can use him as like a barricade because he's basically a tank yeah. right now. Yeah. And he can LKO pretty much any enemy at, in the earlier stages. But if you look at his stats, like if you level up another horse unit, get him to exactly Marcus's level, his stats are gonna be way better than Marcus's. Yeah. So he's all in all not that great, but he is useful at the beginning. He also has a lot of movement and can rescue units. So that's also another thing. Uh, you can rescue units in this where like, one unit basically absorbs the other briefly. Yep, to help kind of protect them from damage. But that also makes you slower and you're less likely to dodge. Yes, very much so. And that kind of uh, depends on your constitution. Okay, this green punk is taking <laughs> over. He's you taking you over know him. he's a bad guy because of how freaking ugly he is. Like, look at that. Okay, but okay, here's the thing. The bad guys in this are ugly, but like I feel like with each Fire Emblem game, they get uglier and uglier. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's in, true. In look at the Fire Emblem Awakening. Awakening. Okay, yeah, look, so it's all when then Rebecca. So you get, or I get well when you get Rebecca. Okay. So I get, a, I get like arguably the strongest and weakest unit. Yes. Right now, which is fair. And I, I like Rebecca. Well, when you really need to cut your hair because as a knight you literally can't even see. Yeah. How does he ride? I don't know. His horse. Okay. okay. Everybody in this game has swords, yet nobody can cut Lowen's hair. Oh. Whoa. I just thought of something. What if Lowen is actually blind and that's like his seeing eye horse? Whoa. <laughs> He's like the best character in the game, if that's true. Lowen is pretty good. And here's Rebecca. Rebecca's, Rebecca's awful at the beginning, but she, she quickly she dies really a good. lot, but if you get if you take the time to level her up, she's so so good. She was yes. as Artie can attest back in the day when we were playing this and kinda of going back and forth like who's your favorite character who's strategies? We had a huge debate whether yeah. Rebecca or Will was better. See and I, I was firmly in Camp Rebecca. I and I was like, Will's way better. He's got way more HP, way more attack, more defense. He doesn't die as easily. But Rebecca has way higher speed, which means she will attack twice much more frequently. That's true. She hunts almost every day and has some skill with the bow. Yeah! <laughs> it's like Baby Luigi, an outstanding okay. So I'm sure people are kind of like, this is a lot of text, this is boring. I assure you the game gets amazing. Yes, and, very much um, so. Even, okay, so oh, yeah. you, even though Lin's story is basically an extended tutorial, Elowood's story is also <laughs> this, this is Merc. This is Merc. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. So, okay, so this... Merc. So this game, if you play the other... Like, if you've played Awakening, where the Tactician is, like, actually, like, a character on the battle, this one is different. You, your Tactician <laughs> is addressed by the characters as a character, but he's not... You don't actually control him. If it wasn't for Murica, we just might not have survived with, like, the Uprising. <laughs> true. I'm so glad we named it Murica. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is gonna turn into, like, an American political rally. <laughs> I'll try not to get too political. No, I try to avoid politics on my channel. Like, there was the one time I, like, talked about... I j okay, so now we actually finally get into the game. And the first thing I'm going to do is speed up everything. Yes, please. Fast, fast, we'll keep, max. We'll keep battle animation on, because it's cool. We might yeah, eventually turn it off. We're definitely going to turn it off eventually. Some of the stages are um, enormous. Oh, whoops, why did I just turn off Okay, so, mistake. question, because this is the other thing that I we didn't really talk about. Um... How do you want to... Do you want to move all your guys and then I move all my guys? Yeah, that's why I was Do you want to alternate each level? Yeah, so okay. I would go first this time, then on the next uh, level, Link is going to start. Yep. Okay, so we got... So Elwood... Eh, not great stats. He has a rapier. Oh, he only has a rapier. That's right. I'm going to need another sword. Yeah, take hey, a Marcus you got a very nice sword right there. Yeah, but... Uh, to, oh, Lowen has a javelin. Not even a regular lance. Okay. So you're not... Oh, man! So normally... And okay. he's got the so vulnerary. If I was playing by myself, you can just take your turn. Okay. Um, but if I was playing by myself, I would usually... Because the rapier is a really good weapon, I would probably take 
Lowen or um, Marcus's weapon, probably Marcus's, and give it to Elwood. I'm not going to do that because Elwood is um, Artie's unit, and <laughs> yeah. uh, Marcus is mine. Yep. So. But I'm taking out that first enemy. You are, which is oh, great. really, Elwood? Oh, okay. You had so to that critical. was a critical move, which does three times the amount of damage, and it is would. guaranteed to hit. So the DMG that's ten, but it actually did thirty damage. So it was all right. So now it's Link's turn. Yep. Just handed the controller over to him. So now he's got Rebecca. So I want to keep her out of enemy range. She can attack from two squares away, which is nice. Okay, hey, well, but, hang on. Hang on. So when you say we alternate, does that mean like next turn you're going to start first? Or is it next oh, level? I was thinking level, first? but we could. Yeah, I was thinking level two, but it could work for turn. And we just have to figure that out like now. So Marcus, that might I'm, I'm, I'm going to be risky with Marcus because he, watch. He, okay, so if that hits, he'll only take three damage. And it didn't even hit. So, and Marcus is going to kill that Marcus guy because he attacks twice. Right. And watch how much H, uh, experience Marcus gets. Yep. Yeah. He's, he's... Okay, so basically Marcus is a paladin, which is an upgraded version of the cavalier, which is low which, in yeah. type. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now two guys at the exact same time, and since it's my so turn, to... so does that mean I get to pick? Okay, do you want to do it that way, or since you picked at the beginning, do I get to pick? See, the way I was thinking is I would get to pick because it's my turn to get a new unit. And that's kind of why I picked that one in the first place, because I wanted to pick. Because you really, really I hate love Dorcas. Bart Ray. <laughs> or Bart. Bart Ray, Bart, however you say it. Okay. I, uh, well, that's fine. More, I more than concede, that, I hate Dorcas. I will concede. I will take Dorcas, even though he's just terrible. <laughs> he is continue. awful. Uh, continue okay. the text. It's just like that night said. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look how much faster the text is going. You talk too much. That's what everybody's saying about this. Let's pretend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so now I got Dorcas. Oh, but you have the energy ring. I get the energy ring, which, which is a good, good item. Um, the Steel Axe is actually bad at this early in the game. And I get a Hand Axe, which is nice. Twice against you. And, okay, so we've got an Archer there. I want to see what Bart Ray can do him. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, so that's I don't nice. actually know, because this game doesn't have voice talent, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of the characters' names. We always called him Bart Ray. Well, because um, it... Yeah, it see, it's B-A-R-T-R-E. -E. It, it could be Bart Ray, it could be Bart, it could be Barter. I, I am always knows. going to call him Bart Ray. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we probably will. That's All right. probably wrong, but that's um, cool. Actually, you can... Well... That village has a dragon shield in it. So usually you get good stuff for going into villages. Yeah, so, I'm wondering if... Am I going to be nice since you let me get Bart Ray? Yeah. Either way. Okay, and so we're starting out this this let's play very uh, diplomatic, very like courteous of each other. It's not going to be. It's that gonna way. get cut it's from by the end of it because me. as soon as somebody dies, yeah, it's gonna be like you let so so die. <laughs> yep, and it's gonna oh it's gonna okay. Be, it's gonna um, I'm either gonna let you get the drench or let you kill that guy. So. Well, that's very courteous of you either way. I uh, either way. You're uh, right. you've got the energy ring, so Bart Ray is gonna get that dragon. Dragon shield. Uh, blah, 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 all the generic villagers, the village treasure. Bart Ray could really use that, but I'm not really sure if I want to use Bart Ray. That, that's a good one that you might want to hold on to. The thing is, though, you want to use it as soon as Okay, possible, the other thing is, we're going to eventually, you're going to basically be using half the units you'd normally use, because I have, event, like, eventually levels only let you take, like, 12, 14, 16 units. Right, right. So you're going to have 8, and I'm going to have 8, essentially. Correct. And, one and of I don't know if I'm going to get... You have Elliot, on so in you're the game. stuck using Elliot on most levels. That is true, so... So, we got to be very careful with who we want to use. Okay, what's the movement of this guy? Yeah, this is... <laughs> so, I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'm trying to be strategic. I don't think you're going to... I don't think you have to worry about losing anybody. Oh, no, I was just seeing if I could lure that guy out a bit. <laughs> it's like, I'm actually not going to take out that guy with the bow. <laughs> I'm just oh, Elliot will actually oh. kill him. <laughs> So only Marcus has been able to kill him. All right. I actually did not expect Elwood to be able See, to Elwood's attack pretty twist. Good. Yeah, he does have high speed, and I forgot the rapier has that much critical. Okay, so wait, I forget this. Okay, so oh, okay. That's the, really the reason good. the steel axe is so awful is because it requires a really high constitution in order to wield it. Constitution is one of the stats in the game, and it affects your ability to carry heavy items without getting a speed decrease and who you can rescue. Yep. Or actually, no. Uh, constitution determines if you can be rescued. So, aid for example, he is can rescue Rebecca because his aid is higher than her constitution. Correct, yeah. So there's no way to upgrade aid except the, the uh, what class you are. And this this music is kind of annoying. Okay, there are houses there. The people in there just basically tell you basic uh, like how to play the games. Or yeah. Those. 
That wouldn't be a bad idea. And also, for, I, if you so if Elowood goes and attacks that enemy, you're basically relying on me to do a lot of damage. On or Lowen. Can... Lowen's beat up though. Yeah, but he's on a horse. He can take a beating. Okay. <sighs> Elowood's far enough away that even if he gets hit, he yeah, it's not a big deal. I think he's gonna dodge. Elwood, man, you're a dodging machine. He's dodged every attack. That's the fun. lords basically they get better stats, like than a lot of the characters. Uh, let me see what's beginning. in the shop. Just for see, okay, race. okay, right. how, how are okay? So oh, the gold. How do you want to split gold? Do you want to be like we basically have fifty fifty? So like we start with ten thousand, and then and then if I so for example if I open a chest that has like ten thousand, I get that ten thousand. Uh, do you want to like kind of just? Loosely keep track on the side. Sure, okay, I don't but... really want to keep a detailed record. No, me like, neither. I but... have this much gold. <laughs> right. All right. Lowen. He's at the low end of the totem pole. Oh, oh. Actually, wait. Did I move Bart Ray yet? I forget. Yes, I did. It's your turn. Okay. Um, so Marcus could go in. He can. Or at but... least. My guys can't reach, that's the problem. See, this is where I like playing as one person, just because then I can give literally all of Marcus's equipment away, and he right, can't take any right. EXP. So if you wanted, you could give all his stuff to, like, Dorcas or something. So one of the nice things about the later games is you can keep the yeah, enemy, the enemy range, on, the, yeah. the range on, which is nice. Oh, and this <laughs> one you have to do it individually. Do me a favor and move on the boss. His name is Gronzi. <laughs> He's a good Italian boy. Hey, Granzi! Mm, okay. See, the thing, the nice thing about Dorcas is he's got a crazy amount of HP. He can, but also he has really, really low defense, so he takes a lot of damage. I'm gonna kind of use Marcus as a shield. Okay. I'm guessing <laughs> I'm predicting Link's future. Marcus is going to get a lot of wasted EXP on him. And that's always kind of what happens at the beginning of the game, but he also is, can save your butt. Oh, he's absolutely! He's great at rescuing people. Early yes. On. So, like for example, that was also. Like, I forget if we talked sad. about this, but if Link wants to rescue one of my units, it has to be mutual. Yeah, we have he to has both to agree, agree on, on that. It. So, because otherwise just, it could be like, well, uh, Link is going to use Marcus to rescue my units, so, so, and so okay, he so, gets so all far, the exp. So far, you basically have um, gotten all the exp. So I'm going to leave that guy is, to you. Which makes me think maybe we should change the whole like yeah. turn thing. Well, next after level, this level. Uh, no, after your level, because it's only fair that you should get to do that as okay, well. Okay, and then we'll kind of see where we are. Yeah, have to reevaluate. I, I'm now just now realizing that. Um, and Bart Ray's not going <laughs> to deal any damage. All right. Uh, that archer kind of worries me. You guys are not really that beat up. Well, Lowen kind of is, but he can afford it. Uh, can he? Oh man, those guys move farther than I remember. Oh, because he's got a hand axe, that's part of it. Ooh, see. actually! I'm equipping that so I can f attack back on the uh, archer when he attacks me. Alright. All right. So yeah, this is going pretty smoothly thus far. It's it's gonna get crazy in the later levels. Mm. See, the, the problem with Dorcas is Dorcas is so powerful, I'd but it's, like, it's a risk if he's actually gonna hit. But she will hit. Not and keep really keep in mind, your weapons will break eventually. Right. And there isn't a shop all that much early on in the game. Yeah, so you can see Dorcas dealt 15 damage, which is a ton, but he also only has a 70% chance of hitting as opposed to Elwood and Wowen, who have like a 100% chance. Oh, also, there's this thing in the game called the Weapon Triangle. Yeah, you should where, explain that. Yeah, so basically there are physical weapons, which are swords, axes, lances, and bows. Bows are kind of like excluded from them, where they're not great or bad against anything. But basically, the weapon triangle is certain weapons are better than others, so swords are good against axes. As you can see, there's the up arrow by the sword and the down by the axe. That means uh, if you've got the advantage in a weapon triangle, your hit rate and evasion goes up, and it goes down if you're at the low end. So basically, swords beat axes, axes beat lances, lances beat swords. That's all you need to know for uh, now. I should have taken Marcus's weapons and just, even though I don't have a character, can use yeah. them. Yeah. Just so I can just kind of use him as a target. Because right now, he's just killing all the guys that I was trying to... See, yeah, I'm gonna let you have that guy. I'm gonna put station. Oh, hang on. First off, how much can I get? Oh, only three, alright. 
So, if he loses free HP, he's gonna have 15 health left. Oh, yeah. Uh, but don't attack the boss of this. Well, no, because he'll deal 7 damage, and then if he hits me again, I'll, he'll deal 14 damage, so then I will have 4 health left. The archer can only damage me. Three. So you'll have 1 health. I'll have 1 health left. Okay, alright, it's your call. Uh, no, there's no reinforcements coming from that fort. What's this? A pack of children coming to play? You think you could challenge me? What? Fairy and knights? That's impossible! I thought they were all wiped out years ago. Especially the like, men, you need a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <I should> no. <laughs> I'm he, I, I will I will say he's at least better groomed than the moment is, which is Graz kind of Graz Grozny <laughs> Who named that guy? <laughs> uh, Grozny's mother. Well, no, I meant which of the developers came up with that name. Well, that was the English translation team. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo of America. <laughs> Your choice of names are impeccable. Like a Bart Ray. Okay, I'm going to take the opportunity to buy some cool berries. Okay. Hey. So, let it be noted that I've used a little bit of my gold. Yes, you have. Honestly, you eventually get a ton of gold in the game, so I'm not too concerned about that. Especially since you yeah. start with a ton on, like, Hector's unlike, story. So unlike, um, I feel like Sacred Stones, which was the other Fire Emblem game that was on the Game Boy Advance. Underrated. So that, underrated game. Fun game. That was the one that had the levels you could go back to and basically grind infinitely. No and, grinding in this. <laughs> right, no grinding in this. This game is linear. You play through a set amount of levels to reach the end of the game. Yes. But Sacred Stones had the problem that you would eventually kind of run out of, um, like... You know, money, so you couldn't buy any more items. Mm -hmm. So you could, there was kind of an end to the grinding, which was... I forget. Sad, like, I don't love grinding. So. How much more speed do you need than, uh, in order to attack twice? I don't know. I, don't, I never really got into how... I thought it was five, I played this not. game a lot, but I never, like, did the whole, like, oh, let's Okay, <laughs> I, I liked figuring out the like math that. in this. Yeah, I don't. So, yeah. he has free speed, Elwood is seven. Is it Elwood or Eli Wood? It's Elwood, let's be honest. Drosny, I'm not gonna... So, also one of the big strategies for this co-op Let's Play, if you get a boss, especially... If you I kill, am going to... If you wait. kill a boss, especially this early on, you basically are guaranteed a level I want. I kinda wanna go to that vendor. Maybe... Yeah, I'm just gonna sit on it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that would be a jerkish move. <laughs> I'm letting you get that archer. Uh, Granted, I've been a pig for the experience besides that. Oh, you have. Absolutely. Something tells me you're gonna get Raven, though. For those of you who don't know, Raven is a unit you get later in the game, and he's like a god. He's so good. Oh, oh what? what? Oh no! She's not in mortal. She's, she's not in peril, Marcus though. There. I know, but what? That oh yeah, happens. I forgot. I if bosses are on thrones or villages, they restore HP when they. Oh. Lowen you know, Owen, if you had shorter hair, maybe you would have dodged that. Couldn't see it coming. Nope. Uh oh, Owen's. Well, you But probably... Owen's in peril! Let's be honest, Ella was just gonna swim Whoa, whoa, the whoa, Owen to the rescue. Alright. Uh, Bart Ray. See, you actually had some vulnerabilities with you, so I'm gonna buy two. No one's gonna camp out on that fortress for a bit. Probably good. So you're like really banking on me killing that archer. Darn it. He'll be fine. Yeah, he will. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, will he? He'll take nine damage. He'll have nine HP left. But There's he won't no kill way the guy. That... He won't kill the guy. No, no, he won't, but at least he won't die. Yeah, but he'll be able to damage you nine and kill you on your next. If he hits you, you have 18 health. Then, then I'll be able to kill him on my turn. Because it'll be the boss's turn first. No, it won't. Because oh, oh, yeah. I'm about to wait. Okay. I'm not going to attack. I thought you were going to attack. I'm like, oh. No. no. Against like, bosses, I very, very like, rarely I do not attack. want to replay this level. Yeah, it's, it is in Link's best... Uh, <laughs> it's in his best interest to keep Elwood okay, alive. Okay, good. Hopefully, Rebecca will actually finish that and guy off. Cause... She was the one I wanted to get the kill with. But worst case, Marcus can rescue her. Right. Right. <laughs> right. What? what the heck? Oh. What is going on with the random number generator? Oh. You are getting robbed so uh, okay, bad. Yeah. Do you want to just kill that guy with Marcus? No, I really don't. Marcus is kind of... Are you going to kill him with Dorcas? Are you really going to use Dorcas? <laughs> yeah, I have to at the beginning. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, though, to help... Well, actually, it won't really help you that much. No, actually, it won't help you at I'm, all. I'm going to no stay No offense, Link. Here. I'm guessing he's going to shoot Dorcas. That's fine. 
I just don't want oh, no, Lowen to actually sneaky. die. Actually hits. Oh no, he's beating up Lowen. But Lowen's on a fortress, so he's got way better defense now. Oh, I can't believe Rebecca. I can't believe it either. She missed twice when oh, she had a 71% chance. Uh -oh. I was hoping for a crit there. <laughs> that would've been awesome. That would've been great. Also, I'm gonna try to level up Elwood a lot, just so he can get some certain side quests. But at the same time, I don't want to level him up a ton, because you have to take him on every level. Yep. Alright. And you have to seize the gate. Alright. So Elwood is going to Elwood is should kill this guy, but if he doesn't, he could die. But, but, but there's a 6% chance to not hit him. Oh, oh, critical! critical so <laughs> I'm not moving well in, so you can go. My fault, my luck was finally turning around. Oh, man. So I'm, I did not do great on experience this level. But next level is a lot more enemies, and you get to go first every That's turn. That's true. So you could easily pick up or surprise me. Oh, I love this music. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, okay. Dorcas! He had barely higher than Chance and Rebecca, but he hit. Dorcas usually always misses. Yeah, I know! Especially when you, he uses that hand axe. Uh, did you want to move these other guys? Or no? no, I don't care. You can just hit end. Alright. Let us seize the gate right now. Dun, dun, open the time to, or open the something and seize the day. Oh wait, that's that's from Newsies, I think. Isn't it? I have not seen that. Are you the Lord Elwood? Yeah, I don't know what you must be the Pringles man. <laughs> he is the Pringles or guy. Eggman's brother. <laughs> is that Vaz or Laos? Of Laos? It's definitely Laos. Let's be honest. <laughs> this looks like a city full of Lauses. <laughs> I thought it was Owen Laos. Shmi is my wife. Owen oh, Lars. <laughs> Shmi is my wife. <laughs> Owen oh, Lars. This is my girlfriend, Baru. Hello! <laughs> uh, Star Wars Episode 2. You did not need to have an Uncle Owen cameo in there. <laughs> we really didn't. Oh. Thanks for your guidance, America. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Where are you bound for next? The Western Plains. You, I, I said Western Plains, man. It's like he's talking to me directly. It's like Dora the Explorer. Wait, am I Murica? It is like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Will you travel with us? <laughs> Splendid! Thank you! Elwood wants to be on a kid's show when so, he grows um, up. Uh, you probably haven't seen Lynn's story, but in case you have retroactively and we don't know about it at the time of this Let's Play, um, <laughs> Elwood runs into you as a tactician, he runs into Murica. <laughs> oh yeah, um, in one story. story, and that's how he knows you. Yes. That's all you really need to know. He's riding into- Oh yeah, that guy's El uh, Rebecca's father. See, okay, none of the characters like who are related look like they're related. Like, she has green hair, he's just like a normal he's bald guy. He's the generic villager guy. We're gonna see him a ton more in the game, just like in random villages. Oh really? Yeah. It's like, oh, and Rebecca's father lives in this village? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, he's in Burn, yeah. Well, I guess they had to cut corners on some stuff for this game. That's fine. Look at the detail they put into that village background. That, that is pretty detailed. It's nice. that, okay, that is like more detail than the 2D village part at the be at Ocarina of Time when you walk into Castle Town. <laughs> where it's like three, I like thought that 3D, was amazing. But it's at literally the time. just like a 2D painting. But it like stands yeah. out really badly. <laughs> All right, that was the first level. I think we're going to have to leave that video off there. I'm Colorful Arnie. And I'm Link the Hero 64. We hope you're enjoying the Let's Play, and we'll see you for the next episode. Bye. Have, have a great day. And remember, and... Murica. <laughs> have a great day, and God bless. Yep.